and what God sip.com. Now I got a word for your tongue. How many rolling stones you want? Yeah, I got a brand new spirit speaking and it's done. Woke up on the side of the bed like I won. Talk like the wind in my chest of that sun. G5 in the US to Taiwan. Hello, USA. This is Sienta again, and I'm going to provide additional videos for you to help evolve your Take Mage PvP skills. I'm afraid the series is going to be relatively boring uh, in relationship to the other videos I have in line to help you guys build, uh, build up for your Tank Mage success. With that in mind, what I'm going to display in this series is just something simple. It's just going to be quick ho uh, a quick hockey uh, tutorial and a quick guidance on Razor options and other attributes to, at the very least, just make you more aware of the functions of Razor and its ability to help you build your Tank Mage PvP abilities. Uh, with that in mind, I'm trying to make these videos quick and painless as possible with the emphasis on the quickness because, let's be honest, it's, it's going to be, it sounds pretty boring off the start, I bet. Alright man, let's get this started. Okay, on behalf of FT Money, and basically getting you guys built up for, uh, for Tank Mage PvP, we're starting here on hotkeys. Right off the bat, I'm not encouraging you guys to use my hotkey setup verbatim. Use your own setup with whatever you're comfortable with. I can only basically provide you suggestions and a brief idea about why I use a certain setup in relationship to something else. So instead of comparing directly, uh, Center, I use the F5 key for, for that first CF key. Think more about whether or not the setup Center has, or what I have basically, uh, would basically benefit you more than the current setup you may have. It's also important to mention that I'm aware these are PvP related videos, and there could be a lot of back and forth, etc. with posts and everything. But uh, if you're a viewer who needs to make a comment that may bring negative attention to the thread I'm posting this in, in the guide section, you know, I double post, uh, that's no secret anymore, so just go ahead and post it in the second age discussion, that way we can kind of um, avoid any back and forth that could otherwise bring negative attributes to a thread, so um, basically, with that in mind, I do read your comments, and I try and implement them in my videos as much as possible. Uh, basically, this video is a byproduct of um, reading somebody else's post. So, with that in mind, uh, here we go. Okay, let's bring it up. Alright, so for the general tab, uh, you might want to just experiment with this. Use smart, or excuse me, uh, use smart CPU re usage reduction. Uh, when I have that unchecked, my client runs a lot smoother versus if when it's checked. Okay, under options, make sure you have this Q last target, target self. You know, I'm gonna have a series of videos with one versus one, and uh, you know, team field strategy, and this I'll discuss this more in detail there. But um, it's very important that you guys use this. Um, you can cast spells and target yourself faster, and target and queue a target and target an enemy faster, and it helps with fast casting also. And I'll get into all that. Uh, this helps you with looting. Uh, this open new corpse is within two tiles. Um, filter the stooping message. That's if you guys want to do that. Uh, show incoming names. Um, I have. I want, you know, if, if I'm about to get PK'd or if there's seven oranges chasing me, I want to know so um, as quick as I can. So I have that checked. That, uh, the negotiate features with server. Um, basically what that is, is if you were to log in someone else's server and you have this unchecked and you, you know, mess with your Razor client or you mess with your Razor background too much with that, with, which uh, conflicts with what's um, coded into the server, you just logged into, uh, you could potentially be disconnected, so it's just better to have that checked. Uh, okay, this is uh, this one has a lot of um, background information on it. Uh, auto queue, object delay, I have mine at zero. Um, the object delay on this shard, you know, at the time of this recording is one. So, basically what this does, and I have, in addition to that, this unchecked also, but this basically prevents me from queuing up my, my, I guess, object action so if I'm trying to open a door or if I'm like unequipping re-equipping a whole bunch it doesn't queue up um, and bug out Razor to the point where I'm always unequipping and re-equipping like I know I had that happen to me during a tournament with uh, during a world save where I had like 10,000 um, object delay or um, object actions delayed here so that kind of helps with that and in addition to that it kind of makes me feel more in control of the game so I'll smash my whole um, toggle Hallbird macro, or a uh, hockey rather, in order to basically get my uh, <laughs> Hallbird equipped in that way. I'm just, I just feel like I'm more in control. So you guys can experiment with that. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, use sm smart last target. That's very important with uh, group PvP. Basically, when you heal somebody, they become your beneficial target. And if you, like, for example, magic arrow somebody else or cast a um, harmful spell on somebody, they become your harmful target. So if you were to queue your heal, if you had to heal somebody real fast. Um, it will heal the beneficial target, and that helps you, and it makes you just that much more of a better teammate to have around. So, 
Okay, so now we're now we're on to uh, range check last target. You know, I give credit where it's due. You know, Bongi helped me uh, realize the benefit of this. Yeah, uh, what this does is I don't know if you guys ever had experience this, but if you're trying to heal somebody or if you try to evil somebody who ran off your screen, you get this a whole bunch of red text that comes up your left side of your screen, where it's like oh target's not in range, etc. And then when you get on get uh, when it gets in your range, your target just disappears and you know you lose that spell. Well, this prevents that. This basically states okay, we'll target that dude. Or whoever you're chasing, uh, once um, once he comes within 10 tiles, I think the default set at 12, but you know it com that conflicts with this uh, server's, I guess, code. So um, definitely change that to 10. It's really beneficial, especially if you're chasing your teammate to go heal him. So okay, I like using percentages. Um, I basically I'll be I'll give you more detail about that in a one verse one uh, video. But when I see somebody with 60% in a one verse one, I'm I'm ready to shoot off my six level spell. You know that's basically my my comfortable zone with uh, wasting 20 mana or about to waste 20 mana. Um, definitely have this auto unequip hands before casting. Um, that just you know helps you eliminate a key stroke uh, if you want to like start mini healing yourself or you want to cast an evil and they'll unequip for you real fast. Okay, let's move on. Uh, display counters. I know uh, I usually have my box window recording just over the UO window, but I have everything the default has in Razor plus the potions. Um, the only potion I don't have is Night Sight from the looks of things. So, you know, you can. The way this basically works is, um, you just want to follow the format that was built into the. D okay, moving on to uh, arm dress tab. I'd encourage uh, viewers to go ahead and pursue this, and um, take advantage of uh, Razor's benefits by using this versus uh, the arm and disarm under hotkeys. Uh, for instance, for with halberds, I have a halberd toggle toggle hotkey set up where I select a target. Or add a target rather into my inventory with a halberd. Then I right click and I select by type, and that allows me to kind of use two halberds and exchange the. Uh, and it, it kind of just switches. So I'll equip halberd one and, and equip halberd two the second time I equip. And what that does is that kind of um, disperses the uh, durability damage to each halberd, but I'll be doing max damage more often um, as a result of the durability being mitigated or the reduction being mitigated. So. Um, for reflect and invis, basically I add a target and I add an absolute target, so I don't right click this or anything, I just kind of let that go. And then you just go in here and you set a hotkey for arm dress as a toggle. So, you know, experiment with that. Uh, I definitely encourage you guys using that. It's a very beneficial attribute in relationship to uh, the alternative here in hotkeys with uh, arm and dis, or not arm and dis on, but equip and re equip. Okay, agents. Um, there's a couple agents here that are really significant that I'm going to go over for PvP purposes and or start your friends list. Uh, recently, I had a team up with uh, Wire and Waza. They're a great group of uh, individuals there, uh, the majestic folks. And um, but for the benefit of this video, we had a team up with them. So in order to uh, not attack them or pursue them with any damage of a harmful spell, I go ahead and put them in the friends list by adding a target. Um, added both of them obviously and then uh, push to enable you have to make sure this is a uh, or this shows push to disable so that basically you know obviously means this is enable so if I were to cast magic arrow then press my hotkey for target closest enemy because uh, these guys are orange to me um, it wouldn't attack them um, so you know if you're in a situation where you'd have to team up with somebody or if you're going to run <laughs> bot macros or something uh, you, you, you want to uh, kind of experiment with this uh, we'll get to that later um, See. Okay, it looks like we're going to get to it relatively soon. The only macro I use for hotkeys is a teleport ring, which I just simply double click a ring every time uh, I switch out rings. I record it. Don't loop it. Make sure you do not loop, otherwise, it's going to keep double clicking your ring when you press your hotkey for um, committing to a uh, committing to using that uh, macro. All right, guys, we're in a stretch run here. If this video was as uh, boring as recording it is as it is viewing it, then we're in some trouble here. So, you know, thank you guys for sticking with me here. You know, this is where it really gets beneficial, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, enable disable razor hotkeys. It does exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it turns your hotkeys on or off. With them off, your hotkeys, everything you have listed in here won't work. Um, with them turned on, everything you have in here will start working. So um, when you're in town, you might want to be cautious. You know, if you have a purple pot hotkey, uh, make sure you have that turned off. So if you're typing, you know, you don't blow someone else up and get garwagged. Okay, moving on to agents. Okay, add to use once. Um, I forgot to mention that under the use once tab, but I add pouches to my use once um, agents, and um, basically all the all of those uh, trap pouches will eventually be blown up after as much as uh, I get paralyzed. So um, 
right there is my use once agent. Just uh, that's kind of what that does. Just blows pouches for me. Um, for me though, I go ahead and I'm pretty quick on the keyboard, I guess. Um, so to me, it's just I can lift up my hand from the left side of my keyboard, and I'll get I'll get back to that here in a second. But um, I just go. It's for me. It's that op um open brackets. It's right there beside the backspace key or underneath the equals key. So you know, relatively easy to reach for me. You know, but again, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, before I go on though, I want to just mention that if you were to like judo chop your keyboard right in the middle, so if you put your like um, hand in like a chopping motion and put it right there over uh, in between the H and the J, everything to the left of that is going to be my low level spells and the keys I use most often because obviously, obviously my right hand is going to be on the mouse, my left hand is going to be uh, on the left side of my keyboard, you know, ready to press some hotkeys and everything. I mean, because basically the idea for hotkeys is you want to be able to get your comfort the most you know useful hotkeys you don't want to be scrolling all around your keyboard you want to be able to put them in a comfortable place where you can press them as quick as possible so you know that's and that's kind of what I think I did with my configuration you know compare them to yours you know we'll see what happens but uh, generally the good idea is to just kind of get everything to the left side of your keyboard all the most important keys that you cast most often or use most often so um, let's move on okay arm and dress you know what I was talking about earlier um, Arm and disarm. This is probably what most of you guys have for your halberd. For me, I put this out there for my A key. But this isn't my halberd actually, so I'll get into that. But this is my Gold's Touch weapon, like a double-handed Gold's Touch. Um, in case I need to mix it up, someone's running away from me. Um, I want to be able to slow them down at least. Uh, arm, disarm, right hand. This is for your one-handed weapons. Um, I use greater heel wands if I when I get in trouble. So for me, it's Z. Uh, it's on the left side of my keyboard again. You know, it's a comfortable space for me. So is the uh, Gold's Touch. In addition to that, toggle halberd. Uh, it's my X key, and again, I used to press Control until I figured out you can turn raise your hotkeys on and off. But um, for me, it's uh, Control X rather. But uh, for me now, it's just everything's just you know the letter itself. So X is comfortable for me. Um, it's right there on the left side, and it's an easy position for me to um, equip my halberd. And obviously, I press probably that hotkey more than any. Uh, let's move on. Uh, toggle Invis again. Um, I use toggles. This equips and unequips every time I press it. So. Uh, it's my decimal key. Uh, I don't invis recall too often. I uh, know we can all stay, say jokes about how to do, but, but for, for the sake of this being a guide video, we'll, we'll keep them out. Um, reflect, I do use when I, that's kind of the first thing I equip once I'm in a horrible situation. So it's my caps lock key. Simple as that. Again, left side of the keyboard. <clears throat> Not a big deal. Um, okay, let's move on. Items, t -t 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 potions. Again, I'm not a, well, before I go to potions, I'm not a dexter, so I don't use bandage timers or anything for this um, razor profile. But I do use item in hand. This goes back to the toggling, or arming and disarming the uh, greater heal wand. So when I equip my greater heal wand, you know, which is my Z key, I press my add key all the way over to the right side of the uh, keyboard. And what that does is it brings up the uh, greater heal target from the wand. It'll be, and I have an option to heal myself self or heal a teammate. Um, simple as that, you know, if you had an axe in your hand and you use that hotkey, it brings up a target for you to, you know, either carve a corpse, which is kinda nasty, or carve uh, carve some wood. Um, okay, moving on moving on to potions. Alright, drink agility, you know, I do that, you know, in the field fights, but it's not important outside of that, so it's on the right side of the keyboard. Um, same with drinking strength, it's the right key, and agility was the down key, basically beside each other. Uh, cure Explosion, heal, and refresh. These are all pretty significant keys. I mean, if you guys fault me, you guys know I'm always throwing purple potions. So, um, again, judo chop down the keyboard. All those keys are to the left side. Very important keys, I guess, for obvious reasons. Um, I guess if I had to stress anything, uh, the refresh keys beside the top. Halberd. Okay, moving on here to macros. Uh, for PvP purposes, there's only really one macro I have set, and that's the teleport ring. Um, I use the uh, minus key. When I'm about to telewhack somebody, I'm pretty comfortable with lifting my left hand off the right or left side of the keyboard and moving it to the uh, right side. Uh, because, you know, you don't have to hastily heal yourself or anything like that when you're trying to chase somebody down. Uh, let's see, moving on. Skills. Two skills. Gotta emphasize this. Um, probably more in a 1v1 video, but um, for the sake of this, I have evaluating intelligence as the uh, comma key. You know, if you're fighting somebody, you want to know what their mana is. Basically, your only option, unless you have like a good. Um, tabs in your head that you're keeping. Meditation is M. You know you want to meditate in between every swing when you're not casting spells. So uh, those are the only two skills I have for tank mage PvP purposes. 
Okay. Um, we'll get the spells last. I mean, it's probably the most significant. Let's see here. Um, I don't have a add friend. I don't use the friend list outside of you know just don't want to target somebody. Attack last combatant. Um, it uh when you tab out and you want to tab back in and hit somebody without canceling a spell and double clicking the bar or double clicking them. This is uh this is the this is the key. It used to have a lot more significance prior to this recording or prior to um uh, the most recent patches and stuff, but um, you know we'll get to that probably more in the one verse one video. Cancel current target, really significant, especially for purple potions, or if you uh, have a negative spell and you want to target yourself with a heal, or if you queued yourself on accident and you have a negative spell you're casting, for me it's F7. That means I'm, it cancels the target queue, is what that does. Simple as that. Okay, I can't emphasize enough how significant of a change this was for me when I changed my last target key prior. Um, when I first started doing tournaments, I didn't really win a whole lot. Um, you know. I had my target self and target last key as my minus and equals key. Once I change it to the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down, target self and mouse wheel down, you know, pointing towards me as a human being, um, and target up as targeting, you know, the opposition, the last target. Uh, basically, when I changed that key, I've started winning significantly higher percentage tournaments. So something to something to emphasize there, and I would encourage you guys. That's probably, if there's nothing else out of this video, you guys get change your hockey if you have um, a different last target key. Uh, or target self key and just kind of keep in mind you're gonna have to practice um, things usually get worse before they get better when you're changing stuff like this I mean it holds true in sports and it holds true here and um, <laughs> even in the silly game of UO and you know and sometimes for me counting principles change things generally get worse before they get better so moving on uh, set last target uh, target is just my A key again not a significant key um, so I can have that on the right side of the keyboard okay let me see did I miss anything on the way up Nope. Okay. Target closest enemy humanoid. Um, target. This is exactly what it says. It's going to target the orange guy. Um, it's my six key um, above the Y. Uh, the target closest gray uh, humanoid is five. So someone who flagged criminal. Uh, for PK purposes, uh, three is for my blue target. The closest murderer for anti-PK purposes is uh, my four key, which is above the R. Um, let's see. That's it, guys. Uh, Moving on to spells, we're going in a stretch run. I know this is uh, you know, probably what you guys were mostly waiting for. So, okay, with that in mind, um, target. I don't have many heal cure self. Um, I just use the mouse wheel down for that because I can cue a target, you know, with that. And you know, like I said, it just kind of does the same effect. Clumsy, feeble mind, weaken are all um, pretty significant keys. Level one, left side of the keyboard. Uh, it helps with disruptions, and it's also you know, first spells you usually cast during a fight. So for me, clumsy's R, feel mind's E, weakens W. You know, um, again, just can't emphasize enough uh, left side of the keyboard. Um, let's see, do, do, do. heal, mini, mini heals just F1, Q target down with the with the mouse wheel, or if I have a friendly last target and I need to heal him really fast, you know, F1, Q target up, upwards towards my beneficial target. Magic arrow is number one for me. Um, let's see, reactive armor is F3, and that's you know some of uh, my level one spells. Okay, moving on. Um, let's see, cures D, harms S, and protections Q. Um, again, really, you know, all I can emphasize is just left side of the keyboard. Um, a lot of this stuff does, I guess the harm is important for chain disruptions, um, and I'll get into that um, with the one verse one uh, videos. And again, you know, I, I guess that's enough said on that. I mean, I'll just have to, you know, kind of squeeze that into my one verse one video. Um, fireball, another big chain disruption. Or a sister, I guess. Um, and it's the F key. Poison's F9. Don't use that too often. You know, I'm comfortable lifting my hand up off the keyboard to go after that key. Teleports T. Kind of a significant spell, you know, teleporting away from danger or um, teleporting a, over a group of people. You know, I guess if you guys watch the other videos in Trash Talk form, um, you know, you teleport through a group. If they're trying to wall you in, you want to teleport over them to kind of beat their wall stone. If not, you're going to be in some trouble. That mine wallstone's Y, another significant key. I like to trap people in as often as I can in group fights. It also breaks the vision of somebody else if they're trying to drop on somebody. Or you know, wallstone's an excellent spell. It doesn't get enough credit where it's due. So um, just kind of experiment with wallstones. Actually, you know, it's, it can only benefit you. Uh, let's see, greater heal F4, G lightning, another chain disruption spell. Not as significant as fireball. I'll get into that in the one verse one in group fight videos. Uh, recall F2 <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, Let's see, fifth level, dispel field, F11, 
uh, relatively important spell, but not significant enough to, you know, make the team on the left side of the keyboard. Mind Blast, significant spell, but it's against Dexers. Don't fight too many of those, so, you know, again, plus you can run at the same time, lift your left hand off the keyboard, and since my target last key is my mouse wheel up, you know, that all falls through. Uh, you guys probably noticed I'm speeding up here. I don't know what my YouTube limit is on the, the video making, so, you know, if you don't get enough description here, you know, I, I'll, I'll be more than happy to just put some text into the, um, into the thread, so just let me know. Paralyzed F6, it, it just barely made the cut. You know, it's uh, very important for group fights. Again, if you watch the uh, trash talk uh, videos, you're well aware of that. Um, let's, I guess with that, let's move on. Okay, for magic reflecting stuff and incognito, you know, they have their place. So does Blade Spirits. So, but I just drag those spells out of the spell book. I mean, it's, it's you know, you don't cast magic reflect during a fight because you're just wasting mana. The spell is my upkey, significant spell. Um, in case someone's chasing you after demons or something like that, or you know, obviously dispel a vortex before it attacks a blue and you flag. Energy bolts F8. Um, six level spells aren't part of the chain disruption. It's like the beginning of it, but it's not significant enough to make the cut to be on the left side of the keyboard. Simple as that. F5 explosion. Um, very important key. I think explosion does more damage more often than energy bolt does, so you just want to be conscious of that. Um, invisibility. Just dragged it out of the spell book. Mark dragged out of the spell book. Paralyzed Fields dragged out of the spell book. So was Reveal. So, you know, level 6 has significant spells, but, you know, nothing you use too often. You can't just, you know, find outside of the, uh, in the black area of your, um, UO window. Seventh, Chain Lightning. Um, for mages and high intelligence dexers, want to use Chain Lightning to break the reflect, um, or go through reflect. If, especially if they have reflect equipment, it's also a nice spell to, uh, if you're going to group, you know, gank somebody, or we call it snipe in FT Money. If we want to snipe somebody, we just run on screen with uh, Chain Lightnings and drop them. <clears throat> um, Flame Strikes F12. It has its place in 1 vs. 1. It's more of a threat to use against somebody to make sure they keep healing and wasting mana healing themselves, because if they decide not to heal themselves in a dangerous situation, you know, they, they, they consume the risk of dying a lot more than they would in Evil. So... Um, again, but you don't use it often enough, and it's not a big chain disruptor, and it's so, you know, when someone sees flame strike, you can create a heal probably like two times before you actually, maybe even three times, well, I, well now I'm exaggerating, but two times pretty comfortable zone. Eighth level, not assigned. Um, energy vortex out, out in the field from the spell book, and it's in the block form, and, and so is earthquake, along with resurrection. Bushido, just joking, we don't have that on T2A. Alright, so, um, again... This is just kind of a brief idea to kind of give you an idea of what my hotkeys are, kind of give you guys an idea about Razor. Um, you don't want to do everything verbatim, like I said earlier. And, uh, you know, just kind of experiment with this. And like I said before, things usually get worse before they get better. But I definitely want to emphasize, you know, the, the uh, tog toggle s or, uh, target self and target uh, last target with the mouse wheel. And also want to emphasize the arm address tab for uh, toggling reflect. And toggling invis and toggling a halberd, and of course I want to emphasize also um, just using the greater heal wand under the uh, I think it was items here. Use item in hand in case you get in trouble. Carry greater heal wands. You can emphasize, you know, or you can use um, use that to get out of trouble. Outside of that, guys, you know, I know this is a boring video. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. Um, you know, if you have any questions, go ahead and post in the second age thread. I don't want to bring too much negative attention to the guides. And uh, with that in mind, you know. Thank you guys for watching.